Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 30 and today's topic is swap app instructions in Big 18 app microcontroller. So let's see what we have in this topic to understand for us. Okay, swap app instruction. Swap app instruction actually swaps the nibbles. Before we understand swap, we need to know what is nibble. So we know that uh, if we have 8 bit of information, we call it what? 8 bit means we call it what? We call it one byte. That's very simple, right? So similarly, one uh, 8 bit of information are known as one byte. Similarly, four bits, right? Four bits. So four bits are known as what? Four bits are known as one nibble. Uh, N I double B L E right nibble. So basically, a uh, one nibble. Uh, so why we are understanding one nibble? Because swap f instruction is related to nibble, right? So let's say, uh, and of course, swap f means it is going to swap the file or file register that we are going to mention. And uh, again, we have a destination bit. If we mention it as file, uh, the new content will be saved in the similar file register. If you mention it as W, you can actually put the new result or the modified result uh, into the working register. But let's, that, those things come later. First, first of all, understand what is swapping. What actually we are swapping. We are actually swapping the two nibbles present in the file register. How? Let's understand. We know that every file register is composition of two nibbles because they have uh, four different individual uh, uh, sorry, two diff two uh, two individual nibbles are present. For example, zero 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 and one one one. Right. So the these are the data which are present in any file register. Let me shorten this file register. Okay, this is our file register. So these uh, most significant four bits is one nibble and th these le least significant four nibbles are basically what? One nibble. So we have two nibbles. So zero uh, is equivalent hexadecimal and f is equivalent to hexadecimal. So zero is one nibble and f is one nibble. So what is swap f? Swap f actually interchange these, these values. Let's say the, uh, the file register uh, or file address of this uh, uh, location is zero one hat. So if I'm going to write, uh, let's say swap f zero one hat, which is the address of the file register. And let's say I'm gonna write W. So what is going to happen? Uh, zero one file, which is this file, whatever the content, their nibbles will be swapped, right? So this, uh, most significant nibble will become their least significant nibble and this uh, least significant nibble will become their most significant nibble. How? Uh, the new content of this file register would become what? Or uh, modified content of this file register would become what? It would become one, one, four times one, then four zeros, right? Or if I'm gonna convert it into back, uh, it's, a, it's a basically the new modified content and uh, uh, if I'm going to write uh, it's hexadecimal, it will become uh, F zero. Last time, last time it was zero F and now it is what? Now it is F zero. So that is the swapping of two nibbles. And this is not, this is not zero one hex. It is working register. Since we mentioned working as a uh, destination, but, but for example, if we could have, uh, we could have changed this register, a file register. So that means the new content will be modified in the same file register, and this is no more. Uh, this is no more working register. It's basically the same zero one hacks file register. I hope you have understand the concept. And if you don't mention, for example, one uh, one modified version could be like this. If you don't mention any file register, that that means default bit is F or default destination is file register, right? So this is the meaning of swapping F. We are actually swapping the two nibbles or two uh, hexadecimal symbols of a file register, right? Let's see uh, the application of this 
in an uh, in a simple assembly language program okay this is the program statement given uh, and we have to implement this uh, code uh, let's see what well, let's see uh, let's read it out what is actually uh, required here so two 8-bit numbers are received from port b and port c so port b and port c both are input ports so basically a number uh, received through port b port b and another number is received through port c so two numbers are being received right uh, through uh, port B and port C. Let's say we assume these numbers, let's say certain numbers, so that uh, this statement becomes more easy for us, and us. Let's say two four hacks is being received through port B and three F is being received through port C, right? And what we have to do, we have to process this information, right? We have to process this information that higher nibble of port B becomes lower nibble. What is the higher nibble? If we, in this case, uh, port B data is two, four. So two is higher nibble and four is lower nibble. So we have to choose two, which is the higher nibble of port B, right? And what we have to do, uh, the lower nibble of port C become higher nibble, right? So what uh, data of port C is what? Three F. So the lower nibble is F, and the higher nibble is three. So lower nibble is basically F from port C. And what we have to do, we have to make this lower nibble, uh, sorry, higher nibble to the lower nibble and we have to make this lower nibble as a higher level. So the data would become F2. How? Let me explain again. Lower nibble, uh, sorry, higher nibble of port B is used as lower nibble so 2 is used in the lower part and lower nibble of port c which is f is used as higher nibble which is basically higher part so this is the new information and that new information send out this process through port b so how are we going to achieve this information uh, or how are we going to process this application let's write the code okay this is the code i have written for you Let's understand it bit by bit. So very first thing that we have clear F is D. That means we are declaring report D as output port. Then this part is very interesting and uh, we have to understand it uh, properly because it will provide base for very important uh, concept, right? And it's about logical gates. So what is what we have in these instructions move literal to working four times one zero zero that means four times ones and zero zero four times zeros will be moved inside working register or content of working register let me write the content of working register here so content of working register would become f zero this is something which is important we have to understand f means four times one zero means four times zero and this is stored in working register. Then what we are doing, we are ending. Ending means we are applying logical and of working with file, right? Working means working value is F0. That means four times once and that uh, zero means four times zero. And these are being ended with port B value. So port B value is what? Two, four hacks, right? Port B value is what? Two, four hacks, right? So what is going to happen? This zero will be ended with four that means four times zeros and we know that whenever zero is and with any other number result appear equals to zero that means the result of these four bits would become what zero i hope this is clear right f2 that means four times ones and they are being added with uh, these numbers so whenever one is and with any number in AND operation, that result would become that number. So that means result will appear to zero. I hope this point is clear. Once you go on bit by bit and you apply AND gate, you will understand it. So in short, if you AND zero with any number, result will appear zero. And if you AND with one with any number, the result will be equal to the same. 
that number, right? So zero means four zeros. They are ending with four, so result will be four zeros. So in result, we have zero hexadecimal, and f means four times one, which are being ended with this number. So result will be same this number. So this is the new value of what working register because working is defined here in as a destination bit. So this is the new content of working register. Then what we do? We swap f. Uh, we move. Uh, okay, one thing is mistake. Uh, let me correct it. This is move wf. That means uh, this value is being forwarded to what file? Zero one file. So this is zero one file, and this is zero two file. So this number will move here in zero one hacks, right? And then what we are we are using our swapf command. So swapf will actually swap this zero one. So it is basically two zero. And after implementing this instruction, what it would become? It will become zero two. I hope this point is clear to every student, right? So now let's see the other part of the code, uh, which is this part. And it's again implementing some valuable information. Again, we are using AND gate. So uh, let's clear this stuff first. Sorry. Okay. So what we are doing, we are moving four times zeros and uh, four times one. That means W would become. Last time it was F zero. This time it will become zero F because four zeros means zero and four ones means F in hexadecimal. And then what we are doing, we are ending it with port C value. So port C value is what three F. We are ending them. So we know that F means one and one is num and with any number result will appear in that number. So it will remain F, and zero is and with three, so it will become zero. Uh, using the same principle of AND gate. So this is the new value of uh, working register, right? And then we are moving this value to 0, 02. So this will store in 0, 02 file register. And then what we are doing, we are swapping this 0, 02 command. So what is going to happen? This 0, F would become what? It will become F0. F zero. I hope this point is clear. So we have actually, and then what we do, we send this value back to this working register. So working register is actually updated again. And this value F zero is moved in working register by what command by using this command, look, move F move file register, what file register zero two. So zero two is this content, this is moved into what? Into the working register. So we have understand so far here. So let me correct it again because it is not clear. It is basically what? F zero. F means four time one. Zero means four time zero in binary, okay? I'm just write, writing it in binary. Then what we are doing, we are using this command IORWF. IOR means inclusive or inclusive or 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 get, right? So this is or get between working register and file register and what file register? This zero one. So zero one content is what? Zero one content is zero two X, right? So we know that uh, if I'm going to write this zero, uh, so basically this is, or with zero and this is or with two, right? Uh, basically these are just replacement in binary, but we are using this number. So now look at the principle of or gate. If you remember what is the or gate, if you have any of the bit high, result will appear in high. So that means if you plus is used for or gate, so one plus zero, that means zero or zero plus one, that means one. So if any of the input is high, sorry, this is one, the result will appear one. And if both input are zero, then result will become zero. So if you know that since these are zeros, but there will be certain ones, so this number will not change, it will remain same, right? And similarly, 
four time ones are being added, so it will also become F. So this is the new content uh, that we will receive after uh, ORing these file working in file content, and then this value will be updated in zero one hacks because we don't mention any destination bit. That means default destination is what file register. So the new content of uh, zero one hacks would become F two, right? Uh, F two, and now what we are doing? We are sending this zero one hacks to port D in this file in in this instruction. Move F to F zero one hacks to port D. So this value will be transferred to the output port, which is the desired uh, criteria or desired output of this program that we needed. So I hope you have understand swap F. And command and or command. These are this is very important application program. I will suggest to implement this program in Proteus environment so that you understand how you can actually uh, use logical uh, operations like and or right. Uh, there is one more uh, logical operator which you can apply easily. Uh, complement as complement f which we have done in previous lectures. One more logical and command. A lo logical command for PKT F microcontroller is exclusive or an exclusive or you can use as a comparison. I have already explained you in previous lectures. So uh, this is the at this stage. I hope uh, I can say that uh, we have covered the maximum number of instructions which can be used in any of simple application. And in coming lectures, we will be uh, we will be learning some techniques to use these instruction. So I will suggest. Uh, to gear up and to process your instruction set properly and practice it in MP Lab and Proteus environment. That will be very helpful for you uh, guys to understand this assembly language programming for FPK 18 f microcontroller. Okay, that's it from this lecture. If you have any confusion or questions, please post in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.